Pulmonary fibrosis is a really significant problem. 200,000 people are living with a disease in the United States now. I follow patients for months to sometimes years with pulmonary fibrosis, and I see them worsen over time, and I see many of them die. It is a lethal disease, and there are so many questions we have, including how to diagnose earlier and how to treat it appropriately. And the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation Registry is really going to be a key that unlocks a lot of the questions that we have about the disease at this time. So the registry is a collection of data from patients with pulmonary fibrosis. We include patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, but also patients with many other types of fibrotic lung disease. The PFF patient registry is such an incredible resource. It can't be understated because it truly allows us to better understand the disease, not just from the physician standpoint, but importantly, from each and every patient who participates. The registry captures data on patients as they're going through their usual care. So unlike a clinical trial, where patients have to meet strict inclusion and exclusion criteria, where they follow a specific protocol, in a registry, patients enroll, and every time they come back to the center, data that they have are captured, but they don't prescribe what data are done. So it's much more of a real-world experience. This registry doesn't require them to take a new medication. It doesn't require them to make a bunch of extra visits to a physician's office. It's really simple to participate. And so if we can say you can help forward our understanding of pulmonary fibrosis by being in this registry, most of them are real excited to help and they want to know that the next generation is going to have more options. As they're seen at a foundation site, we ask them to give us permission to collect their clinical data to collect their imaging data, and if they're willing to give us a biosample that we can use for genomic or proteomic or other types of pathobiological research. We also ask subjects to fill out some questionnaires. Those questionnaires are called patient-reported outcomes. So by trying to correlate those patient-reported outcomes with, say, pulmonary function testing or imaging or biomarkers, we can try to get how patients are feeling in terms of outcomes in the registry. So the data, biospecimens and images that are collected as part of the registry are able to be utilized by researchers across the country. Researchers can partner with the Care Center Network site and submit a research proposal to the foundation that's reviewed to make sure that there's not something similar going on and that it's scientifically valid to ask that question. And then the data or specimens or images can be released for study. Clean data means that it's valid and that it's complete. Actually, you know, statisticians, one of the things that we work on is that methods to deal with missing data. But clean data means that we can go and believe the inferences that we're making up from the analyses because it really reflects the reality. Our group, even though we're very technical people, we're developing databases, we're analyzing the data. At its basis, what we are doing is that we're trying to go and improve health. We understand that there are people behind every piece of data that we get and that there's a story to be told. It's really what we consider to be natural history, what is happening to these patients. So we're also gonna be able to answer some questions about are there different practice patterns in terms of how the clinical sites across the United States are treating these patients and are certain practice patterns or treatments gonna result in better outcomes for the patients. The Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation Patient Registry is truly a landmark study. Each aspect of what we acquire in the registry truly inform the different types of research that can be done. Having 2,000 patients and more allows us to understand the different ways the disease affects individuals, and not having that information really stops us in our tracks. And the issue is, is that it, it just costs money. It's not like you can go and have a site put data into an Excel spreadsheet. It's not going to have the rigor and the validity that you need. There's not a lot of therapies for pulmonary fibrosis. We're lucky to have two drugs available now for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. One of the difficulties with pulmonary fibrosis is that it really is a constellation of different types of diseases with different types of etiologies. And that's one of the things actually that we're trying to understand. So whether it's the clinical data, the HRCT scans, the blood samples that allow us to identify potential markers of disease, all those provide some information, but the incredible aspect of the patient registry is we combine them. Each element truly is important for us to move forward and ultimately not just take better care of patients, 
but identify a cure. Even though the registry has just now completed its enrollment of its 2,000 patients, there are already 15 research proposals that are underway. To help us move to the next step, we need your help. We need more support for the patient registry, and we need to increase enrollment so that we can identify a cure.